12 News is your local election headquarters tracking some big endorsements in the race for Rhode Island governor. Today, Providence Mayor Jorge Alorza and former Congressman Patrick Kennedy announced they're supporting Democrat Helena Folks as the Democratic primary heats up. 12 News politics editor Ted Nisi was at today's event and joins us now with what they had to say. Ted. The latest poll shows Helena Folks is gaining ground but still trailing her Democratic rivals Nellie Gorbea and Dan McKee. We're not going to move forward with the status quo. Former Congressman Patrick Kennedy returning to Rhode Island to throw his support behind former CVS executive Helena Folks in the race for governor. She didn't need a step forward. She had a comfortable life, successful career, top of her game, at the highest echelons of corporate power, including leading one of our state's biggest employers. Providence Mayor Jorge Alorza also backing folks. If there's one thing that speaks to me more than anything else is Helena's pledge to stake her entire governorship, to say that she will not run for re-election unless she gets schools on the right track. Also endorsing folks Thursday, longtime state Senator Mary Ellen Goodwin and former state rep Joe Almeida. I'm out uh, every day, all day, all night meeting people. I think that's the key. I think when people meet me, they realize the level of my conviction. Asked about Alorza's decision to back folks, Governor Dan McKee had this reaction. No, I don't have any comment on that. I'm, you know, I don't have any comment. McKee's campaign also feeling confident, riding a wave of positive reaction to his mom's star turn in a TV ad. Not bad for a governor that lives with his mother. And touting a string of labor endorsements, including from the state's largest teachers union. Yet the most recent poll showed Secretary of State Nellie Gorbea leading both McKee and folks. Her campaign this week released a 19-page plan to deal with climate change. Two other Democrats, Matt Brown and Luis Daniel Munoz, are also running in the primary. The Democratic nominee will face the winner of the GOP primary between Ashley Kalis and Jonathan Riccitelli. Ted Nisi, 12 News.